This story is going to be a little bit different than most of the videos that I do. This is a recent murder that took place in Floyd County, Kentucky. It's very recent, just within the last few days this occurred. I've, I've never covered a story like this before. This is more of like news reporting. It's not something that I do. Most of my videos are code cases or cases that are a couple of years old up to many, many years old, missing persons or unidentified persons. But I, I wanted to cover this. I wanted to talk about this what details that have been shared are just the basics. But this goes even deeper because now they've gotten into this whole discussion about the the lack of response or the accused lack of response from the 911 system there in Floyd County. And I'm going to do some more research and reading up on all of this before I complete this video. But I wanted to talk about this. This is from the Daily Independent. Kentucky State Police launches a death investigation and reports of foul play. Kentucky State Police in Pikeville say foul play is suspected in the death of a 39-year-old Floyd County woman. Amber Spradlin, 39 of Prestonsburg, was discovered by authorities Sunday at a home on Arkansas Creek in Martin in Floyd County, Kentucky. Kentucky State Police report Spradlin suffered life-threatening injuries as a result of suspected foul play. Now, the talk on Facebook, on the Facebook pages and the comments, is that this woman was stabbed to death. I haven't found anything to confirm that, and I'm just going by what I've read, and like I say, that's unconfirmed. Protesters could be seen in front of a local restaurant on Tuesday where Spradlin worked as a hostess. Her body was taken to Frankfort, Kentucky for autopsy. Now that's all that's available on that little part of this story. Other things that have come out is that Amber worked at a restaurant. It's kind of a restaurant that also serves alcohol, and sometimes they may have music and entertainment. It's called The Brick House. It's located in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. It's a very popular place. It's well known in the eastern Kentucky area. And according to the reports that's being shared on Facebook, the place is owned by a local, it's, it's co-owned by a local dentist. And apparently, according to the, the reports, like I say, is that this woman was murdered in this man's home. Now, whether or not he is the suspect or not is yet to be shared. And this is where her body was located. But here's another story that I found from uh, WSAZ, which is a news station from Huntington, West Virginia. This is published June the 20th, 2023. Loved ones of a woman found dead Sunday in Floyd County, Kentucky, are praying for justice. 39-year-old Amber Spradlin was found dead in a home on Arkansas Creek in the town of Martin, Investigators have not shared many details about the case or said whether they have any suspects. Around noon on Tuesday, family members and friends gathered outside the Floyd County Courthouse to march, chant, and call for justice. Many of these people were believing that because this man was a well-known dentist and a well-known local business person, um, has he been brought in for questioning? They found this woman dead in his home, but... They believe that this man, or whoever they believe may be responsible for this, has been allowed to walk free, uh, where other persons may have been brought in immediately. Now, like I say, I don't know if he was brought in for questioning by the police, but the reports, of the rumor reports, or the reports on Facebook are that this man has left Kentucky and is now in Nevada. I don't know how true that is either, but I'm going to read on, and I'm just sharing what I have read about and what I've learned as I've 
been reading about this. So they are upset and they are protesting and they are angry that this person is uh, allowed to get on an airplane or whatever and fly to Nevada while a woman was only found dead, stabbed to death apparently in his home a few days earlier. This is a woman that had worked for him in one of his businesses. Um, family members say their focus is to keep a light on whoever is responsible being held accountable. Once her body is buried and this other stuff is not buried, says her aunt, we're not going to lay down and let this be covered up. We're going to keep on until this person gets what they deserve. As far as I know, if it is true that the person who was the homeowner and the person whose home she was found dead in has left the state, is it because they want to escape the ridicule and the public harassment or whatever they may say might be going on? Or is it because they have something to hide? So the obituary reads... Amber Nicole Spradlin, age 38, of Prestonsburg, Kentucky, passed away Sunday, June 18, 2023, in Martin, Kentucky. She was born October the 7th, 1984, in Prestonsburg. She was a member of the Prestonsburg Church of God and worked as a hostess. And it goes on to tell family members that she was survived by... She wasn't married, and as far as I know here, she didn't have any children. And it just goes on to tell about her funeral arrangements. Um, funeral service will be conducted Saturday, June the 24th, at the Hall Funeral Home Chapel. And burial will follow in the Davidson Memorial Gardens at Ival, Kentucky. You can find this on HowFuneralService.com. People in the community that are upset, that they're feeling like justice is going to escape this woman. I also want people to keep in mind, this is very new. This, this woman only died a couple of days ago. Um, yes, there is outrage in the community, especially when there's someone who is a well-known, prominent business owner and dentist. He may very well have nothing to do with this other than a group of people came together in his home that night. Who found her body? Who was there? Did he have cameras outside of his home or inside of his home that would the, the police would, you know, who made the 911 call? And I'm going to get in a little bit more deeper into that. I'm going to do some reading and research on this whole connection with 911. And while people on Facebook are talking about um, the lack of... I, I'm not sure if they're suggesting that she was still alive when the 911 call was made. And there was a lack of response or a, a, a delay in response. I'm going to do some reading on that. So like I say, this video, I'm going to hold on to it for a few more days until I have time to read up on some stuff and see what comes up over the next couple of days. And like I said, um, this is ongoing. I have very little detail to go on at this moment, and I'm just going to hold on to this video until I have a little bit more to add to it. I went back onto the Facebook page and did a little bit more reading and trying to find some information about this link to this woman's murder and the 911 system because I was assuming that someone was saying that 911 was called but no one responded or they didn't respond in time. The way that I read the story in the very initial story about this was that she was found in the home, deceased. So I don't know if they did call 911. I'm only saying because they're making a, a lot of people are linking this 911 system, and apparently what they are saying is there's a there's an issue in Floyd County with the the county being without 
service of it. Like, um, you can call 911, but it doesn't necessarily mean the police or anyone is going to respond. Several people have commented that they've called 911, which goes to the 911 call center in Prestonsburg. But if you're outside of the Prestonsburg city limits, there's a period of time. These people are claiming this, and I don't know. I don't live in Floyd County, so I don't know exactly what this is all about. And I will keep looking for more information on this. If anyone hears this and they know the answer to this, feel free to to comment. But it just appears as though people are saying that 911 didn't respond or 911 would not have responded between the hours of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. I don't know what time of morning this woman was found. I don't know if she was still alive when she was found or if she was already deceased. I've not seen any more talk about any arrests or anything. This person whose home that it was, a lot of people seem to be insinuating that he either committed the murder or knew who did or should at least be held accountable since it was inside his home. Um, and I do hope that they will investigate this. I mean, I hope that they are investigating it. So I do hope that I will have some more answers for everybody. I wasn't going to post this video, like, with no way to close it out. But nothing has taken place as of right now concerning an arrest. They're just saying that foul play is suspected or foul play or that the police have said this was a, a, a foul play. I don't know if they've come out and said a murder occurred. Um, I have not seen anything from the news media saying that this was a stabbing, but this is what the overall talk on Facebook is, is that she was stabbed. Uh, friends and family gathered at the David School on the 21st for a candlelight vigil to remember this kind and friendly woman. Her body was found in a residence on Arkansas Creek in Martin community of Floyd County on June the 18th. Her death is still under investigation by the Kentucky State Police, and although few details have been released, they say foul play is suspected. So that's really all there is right now on this. I will come back and do a follow-up if there are any more updates. And eventually, you know, somebody's going to have to come out and say who I was at that home that night. They're going to have to speak to the homeowner if, if, there's, if they suspect that he was person that did cause this woman's death or was it one of his other house guests is he claiming he had no idea that these people were at his home I know the public as well as myself and the listeners want answers to this so I hope that the state police will you know start working on this case and a lot of people are saying that there's not going to be justice well it's very soon into this this is only a few days after this woman's death. Um, but it is odd and unusual that someone was murdered inside someone's home and that person left the state almost immediately. And I don't know. That's It's suspicious. It may be they already had the trip planned. It may be that they fled because they didn't want the the uh, umbrella of suspicion over them, you know, or the finger pointing at them. But an innocent person would go straight to the police and say, I want to find out who did this as much as everybody else. I want to clear myself. So I appreciate everybody who sticks around to listen. And if you see me post anything on here again about Amber, it will be a follow-up if there are any more lead, I mean, any, you know, more updates from the media. I will post it and share it. Thanks for watching.